Hello and good day. Welcome back to our class. This is Teacher Oni de Guzman and our topic for today is Set Operations, Union, Intersection, Difference, and Complement of a Set. So the first operation that we will talk about is the union of sets. So the union of sets A and B written as A union B. So this is the symbol. A union B is the set of elements that are members of A or members of B or members of both A and B. So let's have example number one. If I have A is composed of 1, 2, 3, and B is 1, 2, 4, 5, and 6. If I'll combine the elements of A and B, so that is the meaning of union of sets, so I have now A union B is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Another example, if I have A is equal to A, B, C, D, E, and B is composed of A, E, I, O, U. So therefore, A union B is composed of A, B, C, D, E. Notice that I have A and E on the set B. I will no longer repeat the same elements. So I'll proceed to I, O, U. So therefore, this is A union B. Let's move on to the third example of union of sets. So if A is equal to Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, while B is equal to Saturday and Sunday, so if we say A union B, so that is from Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So let's move on to the second set operation, which is intersection of sets. So, it means that the intersection of sets A and B written as A intersection B, so this is the symbol, is the set of elements that are common to both A and B. Again, so the word here, the important word here is common. Let's have our example number one. So, if A is equal to 1, 2, 3, and B is equal to 1, 2, 4, 5, and 6. So if we will take the common elements between A and B, therefore, that is A intersection B is equal to 1, 2. Another example, if A is equal to A, B, C, D, E, and B is equal to A, E, I, O, U. So if we will take the common elements, so we have A intersection B is only A and E. Let's move on to the third example. If A is equal to Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, while B is composed of Saturday and Sunday, do you think do we have common element or elements? The answer is actually none. So A intersection B is equal to null set. So we can use this symbol or the other symbol. Alright, so let's move on to the third set operation, which is difference of two sets. So that is difference of set A and B written as A minus B, or the symbol, which means a set of elements in A that are not in B. So let's look at example number one. So if A is equal to 1, 2, 3, and B is equal to 1, 2, 4, 5, and 6. So what are the elements in A but you cannot find in B? So, we have only 3. On the other hand, if I have A, B, C, D, E as set A, and B is equal to A, E, I, O, U. So, A minus B, the, what are the elements in A but not in B? So, we have here B, C, and D. Let's have the third example. So, if A is equal to Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and B is equal to Saturday and Sunday. So if we say that A minus B, this is equal to Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. On the other hand, if I say B minus A, 
or elements in B but not in A, we have Saturday and Sunday. Let's move on to the fourth set operation, which is the complement of a set. So it is the set that includes all the elements of the universal set that are not present in the given set. Say for instance, if our universal set is composed of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7, and A is equal to 1, 2, 4, 5, and 6. So if we say complement of set, so that is in symbol, we can rewrite this one as A prime or the complement of A. So except for 1, 2, 4, 5, 6, what are the elements in the universal set? So we have only 3 and 7. Another example, if U is composed of A, E, I, O, U, and B is equal to I, U. So if we say B prime or the complement of B, so we have only A, E, O. So let's move on to the third example of complement of a set. So if U, or universal set, is composed of Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, while C is equal to Thursday, Friday, so if we would like to find the complement of C or C prime, we have Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. The diagram on the left side is what we call the Venn diagram. This is the illustration of set operations. So we have here set X on the green circle, while Y on the brown circle, and Z is on the red circle. Now, if we want to find out X union Y, meaning to say all elements in X, combine it with all elements in Y. So for X, we have this, 1, 5, 3, while for Y, we have 5, 3, 8, 2. As we can see on the brown circle. So again, X union Y is equal to 1, 5, 3, 8, 2. Again, let's study the figure on the left side. So this time, we want to find out Z intersection Y. Again, so let's look for the elements of Z. So we have 9, 3, 8, 4, while for Y is composed of 5, 3, 8, 2. So let's look for the common elements. So the common elements are the following. We have actually 3 and 8 only. Let us try problem number 3. So let's look for X prime or the complement of x. So the universal set are the elements okay, inside or under discussion. So we have 6, 7, 1, 5, 3, 8, 2, 9, and 4. These are the elements of the universal set. While for x, we have 1, 5, and 3 only. Now except for the elements 1, 5, 3, so we will consider the elements or that is the complement of x. So therefore, these numbers are 6, 7, 9, 8, 4, and 2. So this is the complement of x. Let's move on to problem number four. So problem number four states that Z intersection Y intersection Z union Y. So first, let's find out the values of Z intersection Y. On the Venn diagram, so let's look for Z. So this is the Z. So we have 9, 3, 8, 4. Okay, elements inside the red circle. While for Y, we have 5, 3, 8, 2. Let's look for the common between Y and Z. So the common is actually 3 and 8. While if we will combine the elements of Z and Y, so that is Z union Y, so we will combine 
we have 9384 combine it with 5382 so te technically we have only the following numbers or elements we have 5382 as well as 94 however we want to find out the intersection of these two sets now so therefore the common element is 3 and 8 Let's move on to problem number 5. So that is X union Z intersection Y union Z. So first, let's determine the elements of this operation. So again, if we will consider X, we have 1, 5, 3. Combine it with the elements of Z. So we have 3, 8, 9, 4. So again, so we will consider these elements again. 1, 5, 3, 8, 9, 4. On the other hand, Y union Z, so we have 5, 3, 8, 2. Combine it with Z, we have actually okay, uh, 3, 9, 8, 4. So, since you're going to consider the elements of these two circles, the brown and the red circles, so we can rewrite this one as 5, 3, 8, 2, as well as 9, 4. Next, we will look for the common elements, and the common elements are the following. We have actually 5, 3, 8, 9, and 4. So this is the answer for this question. Let's move on to problem number 6. So we have elements in X but not in Y. So let's consider first the elements of X. We have 1, 5, and 3. Well, the elements of Y are 5, 3, 8, and 2. So let's consider the elements of X but not in Y. So we have only 1. On the other hand, if I have Y minus X, so let's consider the elements of Y, 5, 3, 8, 2. The elements of X is equal to 1, 5, 3. Again, what are the elements of Y but not in X? So we have 8 and Two. So that ends our discussion on Operation Sunsets. So again, this is Teacher on Indy Guzman. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel so that you will be notified about my new videos. Thank you.